So I'm going to tie um, a green fly aphid type uh, pattern now. This is courtesy of Stuart Cross. We're going to be tying this in this week's fly tying club. Uh, I've got a size 20 dry fly hook and device here. Uh, this is Danville's 60 fluorescent green floss. I'll lay down a, a layer of thread, not to the full length of the hook there, just about towards the end, about two thirds of the hook shank. I've got a very small, this is a silver badger hackle. Don't really think it matters that much what, uh, what colour this is, as long as it's white, predominantly white. And it's almost a double badger type pattern, is this one. So it's laying down a, a little hackle at the hook bend. Tie, the, tie that in. Trim off. I'm going to create a little bit of a lumpy type body in the middle of the hook there. Then I'm just going to prepare the hackle again. Tie this hackle back in again. Let that go. Not quite sufficient stalk to tie in there. Didn't get my little spiky bits tied in. Never mind. And again. Just tying a dicing with death here with my thread. There we go. Just four turns of hackle there should be absolutely fine. Secure that in. It's broken off, that's fine. And a little whip finish. Fibre. And there we have a little green fly, size 20 green fly pattern. At this time of year, there are millions of these green fly sitting on the, uh, uh, the sycamore leaves. Any showery days, they get washed off into the river, and particularly the crayling just hoover them up. A very effective pattern.